I feel like, hi! Ah, wow, wow. Alright, let's do it again, I guess. Really, y'all don't know this, y'all in danger. I'm a threat. I'm a threat. You wish your life, you should know that it's a threat. It's a threat. You know I ain't letting up my foot is on your So during sprint training, man, I was just going, I was just going there to have fun. You know, I was, uh, I was, I was, I needed to practice. I had a game. I was gonna play a baseball game. You know, I was just going there to have fun and like, kind of just give the best I had. It was not like I was just so tense, kind of like asking my agents, "Hey, what are they saying?" All you know, things like that. I feel like I was always just enjoying the game. And I don't know. I feel like that took a lot of pressure on my shoulder. Kind of just being able to just focus on what I needed to do at the time and kind of have fun with it. And that's what helped me out a lot, to kind of like just ease everything out. So going, basically going into spring training, I was just kind of trying to let everything that I worked during the off season play out. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting that I was going to start with the big leagues, but I wasn't, but I wasn't putting myself down that closing the door on myself. I was just trying to give the best shot and just kind of like put it on their hands, like made them, made them decide. Como que dime mami? So mami. So mami. So. <laughs> Como que si ya? Y tú estabas dudando eso. Y tú estabas dudando eso. So you, you didn't ask if you were going to make the team? No. Nah. You weren't asking? Yeah, I never really asked if I was going to make it. I was just kind of just trying to make the opportunity. So it was just cool. It was just cool. You're seeing them people around, kind of trying to throwing hints and things like that. So it was just cool to just hearing them talk. And I never really like to ask questions or talk about it. I was like, just if you're gonna give me the shot, I'm just gonna make the best out of it. Uh, what it was cool about like that team in the spring training it was that I played with a lot of them already, either. If it was in the minor leagues or like already in like past spring trainings, so I kind of like had like a little, I was a little bit familiar with some of them. So uh, it was just cool to get introduced to all of them, like as like kind of like getting closer to being with the team. So I feel like that's whenever they opening up a little bit more with me. And but I feel like I always been cool with them, and they were they were really good since the beginning. So I was just uh, 19, eight, I would say 18 that I played my first game uh, in the big league spring training until other way that I was invited to. So. I feel like I've been cool with them for like a while, so it was good to finally be able to get to play with them. Uh, I just feel like SP have always been like important to me in a way that I feel like I always felt like a little underrated on that, just because like my movements that I was look slow and like long and stuff like that. But I feel like I've always had a little bit of speed. But I feel like that was always important of being able to do everything on the field. If I could, if I had a chance to run, kind of throw a guy, run the ball down, like, so all those kind of things, I feel like they were really important to me too. So uh, being able to run, be able to create like basically problems on the bases, like kind of stealing and all that, and like going first to third, like scoring on ball down the line from first, you know, all those things, I feel like they're really important to me because at the end of the day, they're gonna just help the team win and like create more chances for us. So that's kind of really, that's what really matters to me. For me, I feel like when I was, when I, every time I used to go in the off season, it was like, how can I make myself better in every single aspect of my game? And I feel like going to center field was just a decision that the Mariners made, whether it's in right field, left field, center field, anywhere. How can I be just so good that I can I'm able to play every single position. And that was kind of my goal every time I would go into the offseason. And the Mariners thought I was best suited for center field. And that's whenever I started playing center field. And that, that's whenever everything, everything just started lined out. Because for me, it was not like being center field, but it was important. What was important? Being the best outfield that I could. I feel like the biggest thing that, that made it clear was this conversation one day with Yo, 
And basically the only thing that he told me was, you're so talented that you gotta work harder than everybody else to get better. So once he told me that, that's whenever I realized like, man, like if I really trying to improve, like I gotta work harder to, if I wanna like actually get something out of my body because maybe somebody else giving 90% is maybe my 60, 70%. So it, it just means that I need to demand more of myself in order to improve. So once he told me that, I remember it was in 2020 during COVID. That's whenever it really clicked. I knew it was talented. I knew like that I had a chance, but once he told me that, that's whenever I really decided to take it to the next level. I feel like the beginning of the season, like everybody knew, like I started off slow. Um, for sure I was not like so worried about it. I knew there was like a lot going on. I was excited whenever I first came up and there was definitely a lot going on. I know a lot of people talk about the umpires, but there was a point that I kind of saw that I was getting called a lot of pitches off the zone, like uh, strike three or whatever. But I feel like if I was getting caught up into all that, like I wouldn't have been able to like finish the year in the way I did it. If I was getting caught up, like blaming, blaming it all into the umpires and stuff like that, I know there was a lot of mistakes made or whatever, okay. I know we're humans too, and like I know we made mistakes. I know there were a lot of mistakes made, but it just, I just feel like I didn't let myself get caught up into that. I just feel like I was always kind of like more worried about how can I help the team win than what, it, what, what was happening or like what already happened in the past. If I was strike three, like there's nothing that I can do on that bad already. So it just, how can I be more ready to hit and like just get out of the at bat earlier and like, not nah, just kind of let it go until the third strike. Um, I mean, I feel like everybody was realizing that there was like a lot of calls off the play, but at the end, as I told you, it just, I just feel like I needed to keep moving on because if I was like kind of complaining and like talking about it and like talking back to the empires, they would feel disrespecting. I feel like the whole situation was uh, it was gonna keep on going. I feel like uh, how it happened, I remember in Tampa, I think, Tampa Bay, that's whenever like Scott got, got ejected and like they sent like a whole letter to the um, LMB and all that. So like, I feel like things started to change after that, but I feel like it was, there was not, it was not my place to kind of like making the big deal out of it. So it was kind of like, I, I just let Scott, and like he really got my back. I really appreciate it out of him. And he made, he made things happen. Like I feel like after that, just things started to change. Yeah, so like I feel like um, I want, that's one that I, that first that first ejection that I, that's something that I really want to talk about. Uh, I remember it was like on the inside pitch or whatever. I thought it was closer than what it really looked. That's kind of like my thought process in my head. And like in my head, I'm drawing a line where I think the pitch passed, but like I never really thought of the umpire like, oh, like you made a really bad call. Like this is where the pitch was. I never in my head, I'm like never really even thinking of that part. And whenever I would draw a line, I was like, man, like, I think that that was like right there. And whenever I'm walking back and he said, oh no, you're out. I was like, what? I was like, what did you just happen? Hold on. And that's whenever, when, whenever I went into the dugout and then that I went into the clubhouse and all that, that's whenever the guy started, tell, they started telling me, it's like, you can't do that or whatever. I remember even whenever I was in the dugout, the guys were like, kind of like, nah, 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 that's not it. Like, kind of like, Kind of go, and that's whenever they told me, it was like, nah, you can't do that because the, the umpire will feel disrespected and all that. And that's whenever I was like, oh, okay, now it's just making sense. So that was an unfortunate event. I learned my lesson, definitely not drawing, drawing line. You kids, don't do that either. You guys are gonna get thrown out. Doesn't matter who you are, you're gonna get out of the game. Advice from J Rod. <laughs>And that whole bro, like in June against the Angels, I guess the thing that started was in the game before, it was like later later in the game, I feel like it was the last inning, Mike Trout is hitting. It was like, first of all, it's like nobody's really trying to hit Mike Trout. He's just so good, you know? Like he's just so good, like you gotta respect the guy for who he is. He's just so good. None of the guys are really trying to hit him. They all wanna be in the highlight striking him out. And 
I guess like our pitcher, I remember it was Swanee. He let one in and like I almost hit him, you know, like he didn't like it. I was, nobody really was gonna like that, you know. Nobody really is gonna like that. We got out of the jam, we won the game, and like they didn't like the fact that we, we threw on my trial. Nobody's really trying to throw my trial. I'm telling you, nobody is. And I guess next game, I'm lit enough. That is an open air coming up. I get the whole thing of like hitting players and all that. Like sometimes, uh, I know you gotta pick your spots or whatever, but you can really end somebody's career for that. So like, uh, whenever they first threw at me and then they hit Winker and that's whenever like, I just feel like whenever they hit Winker, that's when everything just went crazy. And I mean, I mean, whenever things got ready, you know, it's like my, that's my team. You know, I part of this team, I feel like I got to seek up for them, you know? So it just, they threw at me too. And like, that's, that's why I was like, I was, I was honestly really mad. And like, at that point it was like, then you're really trying to hurt us. And like, it's just not good. I just not, they just know how you do things, you know? So that's kind of my whole take on it. Like, I feel like everybody just saw all the things that happened, but it just not, I don't know. I didn't think it was a pretty good event. I have never, I have never been in a brawl like that. So, I don't know. It was interesting. That's all I gotta say about that.